Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche where things are looking a little bit dire. Uh, we're low on food and we were just barely saved from this fire by the rain. Fortunately it did reveal some berry bushes, but it does mean this place is getting a little scarier. We've also had some berryinas chasing us. There's still one right there. There's also a rogue male. But uh, basically, this group is the bulk of what who we have here. Thankfully, though, we have unlocked the, um, or I believe, yeah, we unlocked the um, lean body trait. So that should help us out quite a bit here because we don't have to worry about breeding that as much. It's mostly going to be the poison fangs we do have to breed. So... Every start a new day, I do want to quickly look for fires. I think they can't, it can't happen for a few days after, um, it rains, but I don't actually know. So we have, uh, ECCs, who is K and I, D and C, F and C. We were going to breed them, weren't we? Let's keep trying, and I'm going to have both of them nest here. Hopefully that's a good idea because we could potentially have, um, we already have the possibility of having, um, the baby be sick. So let's see, Raisana needed to gather from the cactus. We gathered there. Oh, she can gather from this berry bush. Let's cautiously creep this way. I don't know. Oh, that's the rogue. Let's come down here. That rogue may cause us some grief. I think he's locked on to us, maybe. Um. Oh no, that was a very bad idea. Why did I do that? Okay, I and C, and then C and C. So what I'm gonna do is, let's get these guys off the nests, and then we'll safety breed them. And essentially what that means is that we uh, we breed them so that they don't get a they don't have a rogue come nearby. We'll keep them we'll keep them pregnant as much as we can, but for now, okay, we've got D and I because we have F C D C K I. Yeah, we've got several genes there, so we've got to keep an eye out too, just in case any new fires start. Don't see any. Those are cactus. Um. And he needs to move back. Okay. Let's see. So we've got these guys. Please don't get them sick. Please don't spread your illness. She didn't spread her illness. Okay. We are good. We'll move her down here. He'll come back. She can move up here. And I'll breed them again. We'll move him down here. She can come here and gather. So we need basically to make sure that we're continuing to uh, gather enough food each day. Is there any food over here? There's really not, is there? But uh, she can access two different things of food. So a purse it here. Any fires? I don't see any. So let's keep reading. Okay, she's gonna have to go and find a cactus to gather from. It's really hot. I think that's when the fires start, when it's really hot. That's probably what happens, and they can continue to spread. So, she's actually going to pass away. Maname. Okay, Nuku is going to be the one to come take her place there. There's a rogue. Oh, great. Um, let's... Okay, we have Von... Or, Tavonku, who has F and D... We could honestly, we could breed them. Potentially. Let's have her sit here. We'll try and breed him again. And then Nukir will look this way. And we'll continue. We'll ga just gather some of this grass. So, let's see. We could use somebody over here as well. There is also somewhere a Baryena, I believe, as well. Oh no, that's the rogue. So, darn it, rogue. That's why we're gonna keep these guys, um, make sure both the females here are pregnant, because that will uh, protect them from a rogue breeding with them. I'm gonna destroy these nests until we need them again, and she can keep looking. Oh, there is a berry bush right there. So let's gather some here. 
and he can't gather yet. Can't even attack. Let's have her. There was cactus somewhere, wasn't there? Are there any fires? There's a one, two fires starting. They're in the burnt area, but we've got to keep an eye on that. So what we probably want to do, oh, they're spreading too. Probably want to do is start making our way towards another port in case we need to. That port would be ideal, but I don't know. All right, let's see. Oh, he's got, does he have double lean body? He does. Okay, Rotaduk is going to be one of our most ideal creatures. So let's move him down here. We'll gather from here. And we'll gather from here. And I'm going to have them both nest again. I think it's about time. I think we uh, can handle it at this point, I hope. Because we're probably going to lose several of these creatures in the near future. Let's keep looking around and see. There's another berry bush up there, sort of near the fire, though. So we want to be cautious of that. Alright, let's make sure we're gathering. No. No. Oh, there is a rogue right there. Is there anything more around here? I don't think so. We keep having males. Oh, we had one female. KC, FD. Okay, these guys are going to be our next breeding pair. Because they have all of our genes that we need. So now what we're going to do is essentially... Um, I'm going to have these guys. We'll start gathering. We're going to destroy the nests. And uh, these guys are going to become our new alphas. And will be the... um. <laughs> The creatures that are prioritized for now. Basically, what we need to do is try and populate this whole island if we can. So let's look. Oh, we shouldn't have moved away from the berry bushes, though. Oh, and she just passed away. Alright, let's come here. Gather. 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 He's one of the alphas, yes. Okay. Okay. We'll move, we'll keep these guys together. They're also exactly the same age. No fire super nearby. We do have fire right there. So I wonder if clearing away the grass actually helps because it could create a sort of fire break. I mean, that's how it works in real life at least. So basically our, what we need to do now is kind of spread out and try and find new berry bushes. That's not a good sound. Where is it coming from, though? Oh, it's by her. Okay. There is a baby berryina, though. Hmm. I don't know how much that would help us, but, well, maybe. Maybe if we got the berryina hind legs, because that wouldn't prevent us from gathering, would it? Hmm. That could be an option. All right. Let's gather. These guys are gonna start moving away from the- oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Um, so we're gonna start moving up this way and seeing if we can get these guys anywhere marginally safer because I don't think this area is going to be very good for very long. We're gonna lose this gather spot as well. And who are you? Who are you? Oh my goodness, who are you? Um, Lare, I and F. Do we have both of those? F, D, K, C. Wait, didn't we have? Oh, we don't necessarily want D, C, F, D, K, C. We might, we might want to try I, F. Could she breed with him? No. Nuke here. I see Casey. Hmm. We might want to breed. Let's break. Let's put Nuke here on uh, the um, Alpha as well. Have him gather and then join them up here. There's another berry bush too. All right. So somebody's gonna. All right. There is the berry unit. It decided not to attack. Actually. And um, you can come here, and we'll have him gather from here. And somebody took that, actually. So, let's see. 
We might have to have her start fighting this Baryena. Possibly. So these guys are gonna head up this way. There's somebody over here stealing the food, too. Okay, she just passed away. Those two are both males. Gather, gather. Dig. Um... So the fires are starting. I don't know if they're gonna burn. Oh, that was bad. I think they will burn right over the ashes of the previous ones. So what we need to do here is gather from these. We're not- I'm not gonna have them gather from the, um, cactus because we're not actually breeding, so we're not that desperate for food yet. So, my goal with these guys is to try and find a safe route with them. He's having a really hard time because he doesn't have the, um, he doesn't have lean body, so we need to get him lean body if we can. Let's see. Does he have lean body? He has lean body, right? Lean body and spiky body and lean body. Okay, so what I'm going to do is breed them. Gather. Alright, we'll gather, gather. Gather, gather, gather. And we're just going to start making our way this way. We are going... I'm gonna try and scoot between the fires because I think we that's gonna be our best chance is to try and scoot past them if we can we might be able to run along the already burnt section here all right so it's actually cool enough now let's see is he able he can gather one last time scoot up here yes we should be able to stand on these ashes and scoot up towards the top. I think I'm going to try and get them to the savanna, or to the, um, to the oasis island, because I think that'll help. We're not going to deal with the Baryena and the baby Baryena. I don't want, oh boy, hopefully none of those ashes spring to life or anything. Um, but I think we should be able to use them as a kind of super highway, almost to just scoot the heck out of here. I think, I think we'll be okay. I think we're gonna make it. Unless something catastrophic happens here, I think we're gonna make it. These guys are gonna stay behind, um, and uh, hopefully they will be all right as well. I might have Devonku gather a little bit from the cactus, even though I don't normally like doing that, but because these guys are getting out of here. All right, oh good, the, the fires are gone. I'm gonna have him if these guys have the chance to gather some additional food, I'm going to have them do it because that's going to be very important. So let's gather, gather, gather here. That'll be good. And then he'll take a little bit from here. All right. We're going to gather that, gather this, and we're going to line these guys up over here and try and get them to the savannah, or to the oasis, by this next turn here. Let's see, hopefully should be all right. Okay, I think we'll be all right. Let's make sure we gather that. And then, is he gonna pass away? He did pass away, oh no. All right, I don't know where that Baryena is. Never mind, I know exactly where that Baryena is. Um. Nope, it's not. We're just going to get out of here because we need to refine our genetics a little bit more and the Oasis is generally a better place to do that, I think, than this burning savanna where you're constantly on the run from fires. <laughs> so uh, we're going to, yes, get here. And then I want to breed in fishing tail. Do we have fishing tail? Are we able to get it? Fishing tail, we have to fish. So what gives us fish? Claw. The Bergina Claw does, I believe. It gives us one fishing. So, okay, let's look at everybody and see what their genetics are. Just do a quick inventory of that. Good fertility. Good immunity. Antlers. Secondary antlers. The antlers will be good because that'll give us a little strength. Okay, he needs better fertility. And we already have him set up to get the lean body. And she has the lean body. 
and has good fertility. Okay, so we're gonna have her come here and it just immediately nest. And there's a cactus. We've got to find oh a food source pretty quickly here. So we had let's see oh maybe she'll be C F I C no unfortunately she's not able to um to breed with him. Let's gather from here. Gather this grass. And then Nuke here will be the one to keep moving, I think. And kind of explore a little bit. Let's have her step here. So then we have CD, CF. Oh, that's where I should have put him. Breed them, gather here. We're gonna lose our food fast at this rate, which is why we need him to keep moving. And try and find some more berry bushes, okay. You can venture this way. There's a nest up here. And then we have Dugrovan CD, CD, okay. Dugrovan has those cool purple eyes. Um, let's come over here. Keep looking. There's gotta be somewhere around here. There's gotta be more berry bushes. All right, let's see. All of these guys too so far have gotten the no antler gene, which really sucks. Okay, K and F. C and D. Okay. These guys. Alright, KF. C, D. Although I don't necessarily want to stop breeding until we found... Okay, we could probably smell them, couldn't we? Well, I don't smell anything, unfortunately. Oh, there is. There's berry bushes right there. Okay. Okay, that'll be good. So let's see. C, F. I, C. C, D. We're gonna keep breeding these guys. Oh, I should have put him there. Darn it. Okay, let's come over here. Breed. We'll come, we'll move that way. Alright. We've got more access here. I'm hoping, too, we'll have a baby who can breed with him. Okay, oh, and we had two here. K, F. I, C. So, how many days does she have left? Okay, 24 days. Or no, she has, she'll be in adulthood in about three days. He's only got four days left. Ooh, I don't really want, no, that I want that. So I guess I did intend for that leech to happen. And then we have CF. He's got, um, he's got the, uh, the antlers. Okay, CF, CF, no, CD. Darn it. Okay, let's move her here. I'm going to keep breeding them. And let's repair this. I'll move her this way. And do we have KF, CD, CF? No, we don't have duplicates at this point. KF, CD, CF. No, we don't have and we don't have any um duplicates right now. Darn it! All right, we got rid of the leech. Let's see. Now we have Von Von. He doesn't even have poison fangs. How does he? Oh, you don't have poison fangs. Darn it, I didn't even... How did I not notice that? Okay. Keep gathering from here. And... You know what? We're gonna breed these guys because we want to try and get that eye gene in. Even though that's a bit risky here. We can gather here. So we have CD, KF, CF, CD. Okay, he's gonna go on Omega. Because we're quickly running out of options here. All right, let's have. Oh, he'll be. He'll be. He's actually going to go on Omega as well because he has. Um, he has no poison fangs, and those are the only ones we can't mutate in. Let's go over here. We've got to keep breeding. This could get hairy though. All right, let's see. Oh, we had a female who has. Okay, C D C F, female with um. Okay, is he FC, IC? We need to get that I gene in. Oh, hey, who are you? That is a rogue. We can't even really do anything about it. There we go. Let's. He'll gather here. She'll come here, gather. We'll breed them. And then we'll attack this guy. We'll find a way to get enough food <laughs> somehow. 
I, I don't like, I always do this, we always end up breeding frantically right at the start. Okay, there's gotta be something somewhere around here. Other than cactus. Alright, let's keep doing that. Is he FC? We have another FC, don't we? KF. CD. Thought we had another FC. CF, we do, okay. He's got... No antlers, and he's got antlers. Okay. So that's gonna uh, disqualify Nuta there. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Rain is excellent. Alright. Let's make sure we're gathering. Let's get him out. Come back over here. Gather there. Is there anything more? No, there's not. Okay, let's keep looking. It's nice to not have to worry about... Um, no, okay, she's gonna be... We actually already have another with her genes anyway. Um, let's keep gathering. There's gotta be something somewhere. Let's come over here. And that's really deep water. There is a clown koi, though. Possibly we could do this. Okay. Start new day. He just passed away. Please tell me we got... Nope, we didn't. Okay. Um, he's gonna be in a Omega as well. Let's get her up here. And, uh... Kier Kier, okay. Kier Kier. Oh, we don't have the food. It's Kier Kier. Okay. This is desperation. <gasps> this is desperation at its finest. Let's someone get up here start gathering um there we go there's okay there is a um one of these crabbits as well okay cora i think we're just gonna have to choose the best from amongst these guys um so we'll have to see. Oh, we gotta move him away as well. We can't have anybody near. Oh, no. Okay. Lara. Okay, CD. We have... Okay, CF. CD. So we want to try and find a male. CD. CD. I want a Poison Fang male if we can. These guys are automatic Omegas, basically. We have Nuta. FC. CF, the, both the Poison Fang males have identical genes, don't they? Um, we might have to go with one who's not. Alright, he's got CC. Hmm. Over oh, Kirbon. Wait, then who passed away? Oh, no, you don't. Okay, you are an Omega. You have to gather. Oh, don't stay near the sick baby, though. Who else is Omega? You're Omega. He's Omega. He can come gather. And Nuta. Why is Nuta on Omega? FC. He actually doesn't have terrible genetics. Um... Hmm. This is where decisions get tricky, you guys. Okay, Lara CD, FC. We might have to just settle. CD. She would definitely be better. So maybe we'll find two breeding pairs. Okay, Lococo will be orange. And then let's look at the males. CD, okay. KF, Kukirta would have actually probably been the best. Um, hmm. Mace has KF. And FC. KF and C. And then do we have any who actually got D? She got D. Oh yeah, we do. Okay. So Mace... Wait, KF. None of the males, though. Okay, KF. 
and then there's him. I don't know. We're going to have to... I think we have enough Omegas. I'm going to put Kira Kira on Omega. He has H. But he's got a lot of things I'm not sure I really want to breed in. Let's start a new day. Hopefully he doesn't start drowning. But we need to get fishing. Oh, he, the fish left. There's also a Baryena. And, okay, let's gather. Uh-oh. There's um, a rogue creeping closer as well. And we've got to... Okay. I'm going to have him finish gathering here. I think we need... I think we need these guys to breed a little bit more, because Lassisi... Yeah, these guys need to keep breeding and just see what happens, although she has a rogue baby now. And then Von Von. Is there anyone over here? Okay, we need to gather from there in order to be able to, um... To survive, even. Oh, that's, um, that's a Krabbit. It's gonna follow him, isn't it? Is there anything along here? There's another berry bush. Let's come over here with Kirnu. We might be able to survive this, you guys. We might be able to survive this. Alright, let's see. There's a rogue and a Baryena wandering. Alright. <gasps> uh oh. Um, Ruravon is going to have to attack. Let's come over here. Thankfully, it's the rogue baby who's not sick. We're going to have to attack if we can, aren't we? Um, all right, we've got to, um, oh, there's fish here. We can fish there. That'll be good. And then, let's see. Let's come over here. Are there more um, berry bushes nearby? There has to be. Okay. We at least have enough food to feed the alphas. Oh, we should be fine on food, actually. We've got another omega. We've got more omegas, don't we? Yes. And Cora is going to be an Omega as well. Although we need... Okay. You're going to have to come and attack. Dugrovan is going to have to come and try to attack. So we poisoned him, please. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, no! He didn't spread his sickness. That is so fortunate. Okay. Um, But we lost our mail, so we have a mail with CD. Okay. That might work, because I think we have a female with K, don't we? K, C, F, is he, who's our sick, oh no, he's the one right here. Alright, how, this Baryuna is almost dead. So, she's the only one who's strong enough to gather. So, he'll come this way, because he needs to keep his distance. We'll come here, Von Von will continue to cactus collect. Gather here. Cora doesn't have K at no, she has CF. We have someone with K though, don't we? I thought we did. And let's look down here. We've got a lot of fish we can get. And he's actually not drowning, which is really good. I thought he might. Um, I was a little worried about that. So CF, CD, so we have a male with CD. And let's hop up here. And then we have Kiro, who might actually be worth breeding on a second glance here, because we are a little pressed for immunity genes. He definitely needs a better paw, though. Hmm. So let's look. Here we go. What's tough about this game is sometimes you think one thing is going to be important, so you sacrifice something else, and then you find out you needed the other thing. I hope that's not the situation we have here. So we have... CD... Does anybody actually have K? K. Mace has it. Oh, Mace has it. Mace has KF. Okay, where is Mace? Mace is here. KF. CD. 
Neither one has the antlers, but these guys are going to end up being our breeding creatures, aren't they? Okay. I think we should be okay. So let's look this way a little bit. We're going to start a new day. So you are going to be blue. And we'll come here. We'll move him this way. That is a rogue, isn't it? That is a rogue. All right, let's see. He's got to keep gathering. Oh, we can try and dig that up, but I don't think it's going to work. Uh, and let's see. If we try to send him further that way, he probably will drown. We might... Honestly, we might need to get... Why is he taking damage? He might have... It might... Do they only take drowning damage at the end of a turn now? Ooh, that would change a lot if they do. It might be because he's in the water and he's in too deep. Okay. Let's see. We've got new to Oh yeah, this is this berry bush as well. We're doing okay on food. We've got to keep moving though. Okay, Cora is going to need to come up here. And then KB. He's got KB. Is there a female who has the poison fangs. KB. She is going to pass away. I'm going to have her gather cactus as part of her last turn. CD. Wait a sec. KB, CD. Why don't these guys breed as well? And then we'll have a little bit of um extra... We'll have a few extra creatures... I think that'll help. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out. Yeah.